Spur yourself on with Dante. The final circle is near. What city is this that lies ahead? Because you pierce the darkness from afar, you stray in your imagination. When you reach the place below, you will see plainly how the sense is deceived by distance. These are not towers, but giants. Shade, tell me of these giants. One here is called Nimrod, the builder of Babel. For his great flaw, a single language is not shared throughout the world. And the others? The proud Ephialtes, who tried his strength against Jove, and Antaeus, the once invincible son of Mother Earth. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's another... I guess you could say installment of Dante's Inferno, um, and we're fixing to go into the Circle of Treachery. And the Circle of Treachery, if anyone's ever studied any um, mythos about the Nine Circles of Hell or read the Divine Comedy, um, you would know that uh, the Ninth Circle, or the Circle of Treachery, is the lowest you can go, and I believe Virgil says it in... I think, I think he says it in the book, but he also says it in, like, the animated version they did for the game. Of, it's because it's the furthest from God's light and the furthest from the sun and, um, something along those lines. I actually don't have it in front of me, so I have no exactly what the word for word is. Um, you're not really in treachery just yet, you're actually still in the last part of the eighth circle um my yeah for some reason towards the end I of no i want to say circle seven uh violence i started of uh, punishing everyone probably because i was just tired of playing that mini game um i've played this game a few times before eh, a couple times before and for some reason, I always found the third, you know, the three Beatrice stones. From what I've heard and from what I've read and just different things here and there, supposedly there's six in the game. Now, once you get the first three, the other three don't show up because, you know, there's no use for them. And evidently it uh, turns into, I guess, soul fountains or something along those lines. And in this gameplay, or playthrough rather, I didn't find all three of them. I know where they are, but I ended up at the end of the game, even when I restarted the game and went all the way up to greed again because I didn't have that footage whenever I started posting the videos for this. Um, I didn't find it then either. I know where they are. <laughs> I just didn't get them. Um, so yeah, actually I finished the game with two Beatrice Stones. And that's part of the reason why I started punishing everybody, because I got tired of playing this stupid minigame. Um, so, whatever. Say I love you. I mean, that's nothing to do. But if anybody's ever, I mean, if anybody sees this later on in the future, and actually knows that there's actually six Beatrice Stones in the game, and knows where they are, or where they're supposed to be, Feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I will play through it again. I will record it again. And let all y'all see me pick them up. I actually thought about doing kind of like an achievement video for this game. But, um... Yeah, I didn't know if anybody would want to watch that. So, if you do, <laughs> feel free to comment and let me know. And I will do one. Um... I've studied... Uh... The, a lot of like Greek mythology and mythology in general and um, yeah uh, the Ninth Circle of Hell or the Nine Circles of Hell are kind of in that whole mythos of not so much Greek mythology but mythology in general um, 
the rightful heir to the Not throne Greek mythology, because Greek mythology has, you know, Hades and whatever, but it, you know, it's a mythos of its own. And, uh, so, in all the readings that I've ever done, I could not tell you who this demon is, or this, uh, damned soul is with the stick sticking out of its eyes. I could not tell you who it is. I have no idea. I know a lot of the supposed in the reading that I've done, you know, like the ones that are in hell are um, some of the really, really, really bad ones. Most of them are um, giants and titans and things like that. I could not tell you who that is. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So now we're going into the, actually, Inch Treachery. So let's, uh, see what Virgil has to say. For betraying the love and trust that nature makes. At the center of the universe, in the seat of the devil himself, every traitor is consumed eternally. What makes this cold wind? Lo, Dis himself, the emperor of the woeful realm. And lo, the place where you must arm yourself with fortitude. Master, will we speak again? Gird yourself for the final encounter. Think not on me. Should you prevail, I will see you on the other side. Poor Virgil. We'll see you on the other side, Virgil. We'll see you on the other side. Um, that's kind of like the saddest he sounds through this whole game. Um, so yeah, anyway. Uh, the Ice Bridge. Actually, the Ice Bridge, pretty simple. If you actually pay attention, you can see the little pathway you're supposed to follow. Um, so yeah. It's pretty, it, it's pretty kind of self-explanatory. Um, and actually, if you you kind of move a little fast enough that you could get off of the uh, ones that are cracking and breaking before they fell. But I wouldn't. I just follow the path. But continuing on. I know I promised in all my videos I wasn't going to do a bunch of commentary. <laughs> But, I guess I'm doing a bunch of commentary. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, I'll be quiet now until we get down to the main man himself.
great wealth against Ghibelin and my power. <laughs> Sorrow only for myself! <laughs> Forget my sons! Feed me first! I feel sorrow! <laughs> Don't condemn me! Suffer your sins! That was the slowest descent falling I think I have ever seen in a game. Well, maybe not the slowest. I've probably seen a slower one before. But, uh, yeah. So this is the big main boss man badass Lucifer. Satan. Whatever you want to call him. Um, depending on, you know, what you're reading or whatever. And I'm not gonna lie, I totally sucked at this boss fight. Granted, I did beat him on the first try. I didn't have to do any editing here and, you know, edit out like 50 million deaths. But, uh, yeah, for some reason, every time I'd land that he would hit his fist right at the same time, so, you know, that sucked. Uh, I, yeah. I wasn't great at it at all. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I may not have died. But yeah. Wasn't great at all on it. Uh, I'm just not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was just, you know, whatever. 
Am I the- I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that noticed. And I've actually watched the little making of they did for, you know, those dev diaries they do for video games sometimes. Yep. <laughs> to hear them talk about the making of Lucifer's, what is going to say, manhood for this game. I, uh, I think they just sort of a little ridiculous. That's that's just a little much. Um, I don't. Uh, I, I don't even. I, I don't even think I should talk about that in this video. Um, so yeah, needless to say, Lucifer's pretty well endowed. Probably a little too much so. <laughs> they kind of exaggerated for this game. Um, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever pleases him. But anyway, um, I'm just surprised he's able to fight with that thing. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. I, uh, eh, ran random rambling. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to stop my commentary. I'm gonna give you a little warning. There is some nudity involved in the in this game that is not fur covered. <laughs> um, so that's my little discretion for the video. Um, and I'll put something in the comments, you know, down in the description below. But anyway, I just wanted to say thanks everybody for uh, those that return and watch my videos. I do have more coming in the future. I also want to thank those who might have just happened upon my channel and want to see more and, you know, welcome. So anyway, I'm going to let y'all watch the boss fight and then the end of the game cut scenes and I am going to post the beginning of the gameplay here pretty soon. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye.
right. There's just one last minor detail with which I ought to make you familiar. Forbidden by him. I am so sick of you. I will reclaim my rightful place in paradise. My path will be paved with the sins of man. And yours, Dante, shall be the bedrock of my return. And all that is good shall be gone from the universe forever! Not yet. I have collected many souls on this pilgrimage. Souls that I have freed from this inferno. And together, they now possess the power to free me, father, mother, brothers, absolve me! This power, Tante, we can use it together. You and I, friend, just think what we could achieve. I would rather not. Dante, I can reunite you with Beatrice. Together, we will rule the three kingdoms of the afterlife. It's not going to happen. I did not die, and I did not live. 